Hey, and welcome to another tutorial by me, Dave, and buff, by the way, uh, today we're going to be doing uh, Satrina's buff frames. Um, now, I know with the new changes to the game, uh, as you can see, some of the buffs get put into this little uh, drop-down menu style thing. Um, it can be annoying, and you really can't see it on the fly when you're in dungeons what you're actually looking at um, but let me turn on the mod and we can start by messing around as you can see right here Katrina's buff friend we're gonna turn that on and we'll enter on a character that I don't already have something set up on it all right now as you can see now that we're in the buff frame is very very tiny and it is down on the bottom right there uh, little information right here in the chat that pops up uh, to get the options you do slash SBF options and then it'll pop up this screen now as you can see while wow, this screen is open you've got quite a few uh, things that you can look at. <laughs> we'll start off by clicking on bars. Uh, there's your buff bar and there's your debuff bar. You can create more if you desire. Uh, for my mage, I have one sitting right here in the middle, right underneath my guy, to show me um, certain debuffs during fights. But um, we'll start with the buff bar. Uh, the layout, uh, I prefer rows like that. As you can see, you can grab and drag. Um, and I like to have it the opposite. They are numbered, and that is the way they will grow. They will grow out. Now, you can place these wherever, wherever you like. Uh, I also like to make it two solid rows. So if you change this to 10, it would be 10 on top, 10 on bottom. You can change the number of that total. Uh, 20 seems to be pretty decent if you're big into rating I would go a little bit higher but <clears throat> not always necessary um, now we're gonna set this this is the buff bar we're gonna set this right there kinda where I feel I like the way it looks and we will go into multiple other options here um, Now you can change the icon size here. Uh, multiple options for the actual bars. We'll change the icon. They're kind of a little small there. We'll change it to uh, we'll go 30. Hit apply. Makes them a little bigger. Um, and you can change the actual position of the icons uh, based on where the anchor point is. But um, just leaving them centered is fine. Uh, the timers are the actual numbers underneath. I would switch that to Blizzard style to uh, having minutes and seconds is kind of stupid. This will make it so it's the default. Font size of the timers, as you can see, very, very tiny to very, very large, depending on your preference. And then you can also put the timer anywhere in position to the buff just right below it's usually where I like to have that justify the right side or in the middle wherever you can change the font whatever your preference is now we'll switch to the debuff bar and we'll set up the same design here we'll rows Split it right in half, 8 and 8. Switch it so that it grows the opposite way. Now the debuff bar I like to keep a little bit smaller just so it's out of the way. So I leave it at icon size 20. Timers, switch that again so it's normal. Now the only way to test this out is actually to exit and you can see what it actually looks like. Kind of a pain to not have it in there while you're working on it but 
Uh, now the icons. Kind of touching each other. They're kind of close. So. Buff spacing right here. Shrink it and get them closer. If you have them smaller. But give them a little space just so we can see better. Um, now, to create a new one. New frame. Just puts it right here. Same options apply. Make it rows, however you want. This is the anchor point. Flip it back and forth. Size it up, whatever you need to do. Um, you can make it specific to certain spells. Uh, show only certain spells, depending on what you want this third bar to actually do. Uh, totally custom on that. But now that you've got everything up, you can see that um, when the buffs come up, they will change according to how you have it set. And uh, there is an option that will allow button facade buttons to work with Citrina's buff frame. So it'll change it to match the, the button facade that you have. Uh, set and created but that's the basics on getting this set up so you can have a little bit better uh, view of your buffs and debuffs uh, a little bit better option than what blizzard currently has installed in the game um, i'm dave and this was another mod tutorial uh, good luck and have fun